averages. So let's say you scored 100 marks in an exam and your friend scored 50 marks. So what is the total marks? 100 plus 50 which is 150. And to calculate average, how do we calculate that? 100 plus 50 by number of candidates that is 2 right so the average average mark scored by your friend and you is 75 this is the average that means on an average your score is 75 and your friend's score is also 75 and if we had not known much more information about your marks we would have considered both of your marks as 75 so we can also calculate the total marks with this average how can we calculate as we know average is sum of the numbers by total number of the total number right so here we calculated 100 plus 50 that is 150 which is the total marks right and if we want to calculate the total marks with the average then we can just multiply average into the total number right which the total number in this case is 2 the total number of candidates so 150 instead of calculating 100 plus 50 that is 150 we can also calculate the total sum as the average into total number so the sum will be equal to average into total number which is 150 in this case if we have a series of numbers in arithmetic progression and if we have odd numbers odd number of terms the average is the middle term so here we have a series of this is in arithmetic progression right so the difference uh, between any two numbers is common is same for the complete series so this is an arithmetic progression and we have odd number terms we have five terms right so in this case the average is the middle term so three is the average in this case and if we have even numbers even number of terms the average will be um, uh, we have if we have even number of terms then we, will, we would have two numbers two middle terms and we have to take the average of the two middle terms to get the average let's say we have one more term six so in this case we have even number terms right six terms we have so we uh, we have two middle terms which are three and four right three and four are the middle terms so we have to take the average of three and four which is seven by two that is equal to three point five this is the average if we have uh, in this case this is the average we have six terms which is even number term so change of values and average if we consider arithmetic progression let's suppose we have 1 2 3 4 5 here and we are adding each number by 5 right each number by 5 we are adding so 1 plus 5 becomes 6 this becomes 7 8 9 and 10 because we are adding each and every term with the same number right then in the first case what what was our average this is the average right in the second case this is the average why because this is in arithmetic progression these are consecutive num uh, consecutive terms so this is in this is in arithmetic progression in arithmetic progression and in that to in odd number or series if the number is odd then what happens is the middle term is the average as we discussed so in the first case 3 is the average and in the second case 8 is the average if we increased each and every term by 5 right the average also got increased by 5 right in first case it's 3 in second case it's 8 so the average also got increased by 8 by 5 so what can we conclude so on adding a quantity x to all the values increase the average by x right in in this case x is 5 now what if we subtract the same value let's take a 6 7 8 9 10 which are in arithmetic progression we are subtracting minus 5 the same number in all the cases and we get 6 minus 5 1 and all we get the resultant values right in first case this is the average and in the second case this is the average so when, when we are uh, subtracting any number by 5, all the numbers with the same number, the average also got decreased, subtracted by the same number, right? And what about multiplication? If we uh, multiply each and every term with 5, what do, what do we get? 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25. So here 3 is the average, here 15 is the average. So the average also got multiplied by Five. So what can we conclude? We can conclude that multiplying a quantity x to all the values also multiplies the average by x. And what about division? Let's say we have 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25. So these are all, uh, all are in arithmetic progression. If we divide each and every term with 5, we get these respective values, right? So dividing all the values by a quantity x also divides the average by x. 
in first case we have 15 as the average in second case we have 3 as the average so in in all the terms are divided by 5 so this average also got divided by 5 and the resultant value is 3 right concept of weighted average weighted average is a concept of average that is relevant when more than one group is involved right when more than one group is involved we consider that we can consider that to be a weighted average we can apply the concept of weighted average in that case so weighted average simply means that calculating average of averages let's say uh, the average marks scored by class 1 is 60 and class 2 is 80 and the number of candidates are n1 and n2 we do not know the exact number of candidates now if n1 and n2 if n2 is let's 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 take here this is 60 and this is 80 and this is the midpoint right if n2 that means the students of class 2 are more then this average will tend towards more towards the this average right the higher value if n1 that means the students of class 1 are more then the average this this point tends towards the lowest value but remember this the average will be in between the lowest value and the highest value average doesn't we cannot get this average which is be which is below this value and greater than this value the average will definitely be in between the lowest value and highest value of the given observations now we, sh we shall consider the number of candidates in class 1 as 20 and the number of candidates in class 2 is 30 so what happens is how can we calculate the weighted average we know that the average is equal to the sum by number of number of the students in this case number of quantities or number of observations but what about weighted average weighted average is equal to the summation of the total by the summation of the number so in this case 60 into 20 plus 80 into 30 by total 20 plus 30 so the average into the total number of students plus the average in second case into total number of students divided by the total number of students so we can simplify we can take 10 as common so the value becomes 60 into 2 plus 80 into 3 by so we are taking 10 as common in denominator as well so 2 plus 3 so we can ca uh, cancel 10 and 10 here so here if we observe if we take the ratios 20 and 30 it becomes 2 is to 3 right if you cancel out now if you observe 60 into 2 plus 80 into 3 so this is the observation right 60 into 2 plus 80 into 3 by 2 plus 3 so instead of taking these exact values 20 and 30 we can calculate the ratio we can take the ratio and calculate the weighted average so for total strength in this case the number of students right total strength in this case the number of students we need not to we need not take the actual values we can take the ratio and calculate the weighted average